Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dunn of AhmedDunn.com. Today, I'll be unboxing and doing a brief review of a travel tripod, which is called Kulida or Kulohida tripod. I do apologize for the right spelling of this tripod, uh, because I'm not sure uh, it should be Kulida or Kulohida. But just to make things simple, I'll uh, mention, I'll say Kulida. It's spelled K A K O O L E H A O D A, and this is a 56 inch camera travel tripod, and uh, the name of this particular model is a KQ 200, and let's go over some specs of this travel tripod. Now this travel tripod uh, folded length is only 13.6 inch, so which is very small and its weight is uh, 1290 gram which is approximately 2.85 pound so when you travel 2.85 pound and 13.6 inch is very portable so you should be able to carry it in your uh, carry-on or in your backpack or anywhere uh, it's, a, it's a really small and lightweight and it's made of uh, aluminium alloy and maximum height is 14 10 uh, millimeter or it would be 56 inch and then maximum load capacity is 8 kg so this is a ball head type of tripod and it can be uh, used as a monopod as well uh, one of the legs can be removed as a monopod so this is basically a monopod and tripod all in one and in this part right now i'll just do the unboxing and i'll go outside later on and uh, show you how tall the tripod is and how to fold or unfold or other features so let's first uh, go through the unboxing and then we'll go to the second part of this video which i'll do later on and attach it to the part one so right now the part one is the plane unboxing and let's get going so here is the box so it has a tourism tripod right here and here is a picture on this side right here and actually the name Kulida is not to be found on this package uh, in bold font so what I was able to see that it just mentioned right here Gulida 56 inch SLR camera tripod and this is the model number or some sort of product number and except that the package doesn't have the name or anything else so let's uh, get going with opening the box and I'll just start cutting from here okay so I opened that and Let's see if I can open this without removing anything else. Okay, so yes, looks like it's gonna come out. There's a small uh, packing set it aside here for now. And I'm pulling this out, and it looks like the whole tripod is coming out. Okay, so here we got the tripod here. I'll leave it here and let's see if there's anything else inside the box. Uh, no, it's all empty. So I'll just leave the box here. And 
So this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a, a small carry bag and you can carry it like this or you can even put it on your shoulder. Actually the color of the carry on of the carry bag I don't like it that much but I guess I don't have any option here. It comes with whatever they give. So I'll just take this out here and remove the tripod from the bag. Okay, so inside the bag there's nothing else. So I'll just set it aside for now. What I can see that they do have the name Kulida on the bag, but it's not on the box. Okay, so here's what it is. So I'll just take this out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, there's a small bag right here. Okay. At this point, I'm not sure what is this for. However, once I go through it and figure out, I'll mention in part two of the video. So I'll just put it aside for here. And here is the tripod. I'll not be able to fold it all the way here because of the space. However, once I do the part two of the review, then I'll show you everything. So it looks like here is the ball head. And if I remove the bag, then, okay, here's the ball head right here and all other stuff okay so in terms in terms of unboxing this is what it is I'm not gonna unfold this right now because I have to be in front of the camera and I'm not ready for that yet so what I'll do when I do the next part, then I'll do the unfolding and the rest of the stuff and then I'll show you how tall is the tripod and when I stand next to it, how uh, my height and the tripod, uh, if they're okay or not and some other features of the tripod. Okay, thank you for watching so far and let's uh, keep uh, for the part two, just wait a little bit and once I do the part two, then you'll be able to see the rest of the video. All right, thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today, I'll be doing the second part of the Kulida or Kulohida a tripod review and today I'll be testing uh, the tripod or I'll be showing some uh, features uh, outdoor and uh, let's start with uh, the first uh, what the accessories come with the tripod so first uh, here's the tripod bag uh, or tripod cover so the cover uh, by itself looks durable and it is padded and it has a actually carry-on strap which you can uh, hang it to your uh, shoulder or you can just carry on like this the tripod cover is uh, looks good however the color uh, I didn't like the color but it's not a big deal uh, and it has a Kulida or Kulohida uh, on it and then there are two accessories which come with the uh, tripod uh, one of them is this small bag I believe you put a uh, stone or weight or rocks in here and uh, attach it to uh, the middle of the tripod which is right here to balance it uh, that's the f uh, function of this bag and uh, there's another small bag which came with the tripod bag which is this bag right here 
I'm not sure what to do with the bag and I was not able to find the function of this bag anywhere but uh, I have an idea that this bag you used to attach it attach the tripod to your uh, carry-on backpack or your luggage or anywhere and most likely uh, one of the tripod legs just goes in here and then you just uh, push it uh, using uh, this slot uh, right here uh, this one right here so one side actually goes holds the tripod and probably the other side is just uh, attach the tripod to a tri uh, carry-on bag or any luggage however I may not may be wrong but that's what I can come up with uh, by just by guessing now uh, we'll go back to the tripod itself so the tripod is fairly uh, lightweight and uh, this is about 3.5 uh, uh, pound and I'll just show you some important uh, features that I you should know so this is a 56 inch uh, tripod and uh, this tripod uh, is not going to be good for two tall people I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, uh, this works just fine for me but if you are about 5'10", or 5'6", uh, feet or anything then I wouldn't recommend this because this is going to be too short now I'll uh, unfold the tripod but before that I would like to show you the monopod feature which is one of the leg uh, one of the legs which is right here it comes off the tripod and then if you can uh, just uh, open this leg then it should work as a monopod uh, however the problem with that is that uh, this monopod is too short as you can see it just comes up to my uh, uh, half part it doesn't even come up to my uh, face so this is not going to be a good option for monopod so I'll just uh, close this one and attach it uh, back to the tripod okay so it goes inside here okay and then once you uh, attach it okay I'm not sure why I'm having a little bit difficulty attaching this leg it could be that okay so I got it here okay so now uh, before I unfold the tripod fully I would like to mention that this is a flip lock tripod what it means that when you unfold the leg uh, the locks are not twist lock they're flip lock and the way the flip lock looks it doesn't look too uh, sturdy or durable for me it may be durable but the way uh, the way it looks and the feel of it is plastic and I'm not sure if this is going to last too long uh, so that's where I'm a little bit uh, concerned however I hope that it lasts long so this is uh, the flip lock instead of twist lock and the locks kind of looks uh, cheap plastic and too not too durable okay so when you want to unfold it so you can just uh, do it this way and you can flip it over and then you're gonna have to twist uh, one by one so for example the benefit of having a uh, twist lock is that it's very fast you can unfold the whole tripod uh, without within a within one minute or so it doesn't take a uh, time at all and then if I had uh, let's see if I had a twist lock uh, system then it would take longer because of uh, flip lock uh, it shouldn't it didn't take long so let's say if I'm setting up the tripod right here and then to tighten it up I'll just uh, pull up the lever and then if I just uh, loosen the grip 
right here then it will come this way and then I have to just tighten up here okay so now this is the tripod as far as it goes this is 56 inch so this is just fine for me if I put the camera here this is going to be my eye level or face level uh, face level however uh, if you're too tall then just like I said before I wouldn't recommend it uh, a 56 inch so it should look beyond 56 for example 62 inch or beyond if you're a tall person but if you're about 5 6 uh, up to 5 6 or 5 7 then this should work just fine so that's the basic parts of this tripod so I would say that this is a good purchase for the price this is only about hundred dollars Canadian and uh, everything looks good so far except the flip lock uh, of material or the looks uh, I'm just a little bit concerned and uh, hopefully it lasts long and the another benefit of having flip lock that it's very quick and then you can just uh, push it uh, you can close and open the whole thing very fast so this tripod has many other features which uh, I'm not going to show you everything you'll uh, uh, know them or you'll uh, find them uh, easily uh, it's in the manual however the manual comes in actually uh, Japanese and English and it's not that clear but uh, you know it's very self-explanatory and you'll be able to uh, find out how it works very fast uh, for that reason I'll just mention the most important thing I believe we needed to know so I'll just uh, do a quick uh, overview of what I just mentioned number one the monopod is too short it comes only up to my waist and it's not going to uh, cover uh, or it's not going to be very tall like uh, you know six feet or 5.56 inch like the whole tripod and the flip lock uh, buttons uh, they look okay but I'm not sure if they're durable uh, it has a kind of uh, cheap uh, feeling or not a light feeling to it so they might not last very long but however I'm hoping that you know they last long and this tripod is good for people up to five six five seven or even five eight but if you are taller than that then I'd recommend getting uh, something uh, larger this is a 5.6 inch tripod and except that the build quality the material everything else looks uh, very sturdy very durable and this is only 3.5 pound and you can easily carry it with you anywhere you go and you can put it in your uh, backpack or carry on luggage so overall for the price this is a good purchase if uh, you buy a very uh, brand name or famous one you'd be paying probably three to five hundred dollars for the same uh, product or a product uh, similar product however uh, for hundred dollars I'm satisfied and this is a good tripod I would recommend uh, except uh, the drawbacks or the features I mentioned so that's all for now uh, please keep an eye on this channel and if you if you find uh, the information helpful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing that's all for today thank you